I and my colleagues across the Met are under no illusions about the deep significance of this very sobering report. We fully accept the findings of the Casey Review and have a determination to implement them. We recognise that the discrimination in the organisation that's affected Londoners and colleagues, the absence of sufficient support for frontline officers trying to do their best for London and the failings in service standards to Londoners is not acceptable. I returned to policing six months ago to tackle these issues. I apologise then and I apologise again now. I'm sorry we've let you all down and we will fix this. I know my determination is shared by tens of thousands of colleagues across the organisation. We're deeply moved by this and the personal testimonies in this report which come from my colleagues, illustrate their profound determination and commitment to public service and desire to do a better job. We've already built a turnaround plan. We've started our steps to reform. And we've been consulting over the last two months. We've heard feedback from the public. And now we've got this deep insight from Louise Casey, which will make a big difference to this plan to make it as profound and significant as it possibly can be. And I intend that you will see month by month, quarter by quarter, progress as we improve the policing of London. The report does highlight external factors such as funding and governance and demand growth and demand transfer from other agencies. And those are, of course, factors. But we won't be using those as excuses. We know the duty to reform sits most of all with us. Finally, an ask. We must galvanise together because if this report simply becomes an excuse to pillory and blame the tens of thousands in the majority of my good officers and staff, then the only people who win out of that will be criminals. Thank you for your support and working with us as we reform policing in London.